Morning guys, it is Thursday, August 3rd, and I'm going to hit up Route 127 yard sales. <clears throat> if you guys don't know about Route 127, basically it runs from Michigan to Alabama, and they bill it as the world's longest yard sale. I don't know if it really is or not, but it's like a 700 mile stretch of yard sales. And <clears throat> you don't make a list or anything like that, it's just all along one state route and in Cincinnati we're basically right in the middle of it so 127 goes right through Cincinnati and I generally like to go south into Kentucky so it takes me about 30 minutes and I jump on 127 and just start going and it's just all over the place so I'm pretty excited to show you guys a little bit of 127 and if you don't live anywhere near Route 127 there's these types of sales all over the place you know different state highways or you know state routes they'll do this there's they're all you know all over the country they'll they'll set these things up so just look in your area i'm sure you probably got something similar I picked up a couple things at the first sale of the day. I got Mars Shop Bobblehead. Had to pay up for it though. Gave 50 bucks for that one. But last time I sold one, I got 80 bucks for it. I got a couple cameras. I got a Polaroid that's in the back. And then I got a Pentax K1000. I got this and the Polaroid for 15 bucks. And there's some extra lenses too. Got some other bobbleheads there too, and a Reds hat, but I will just show you guys all that at the end of the day. All right, that sale I picked up a sound design cassette player for a buck. It's not a good brand and I couldn't find a lot of comps, but anytime you find vintage electronics like this that are new and you can pick them up cheap, just buy them. I also got a UK poster. I think it's from the 70s. It's a print and it's got like a piece of paper from a Holiday Inn that all the players signed. And I paid five bucks for that. Set right up on the side of the road. Gotta love it. We've, um, my brother's been doing this probably about eight years, ten years. He, uh, it's a good deal. You make good money if you have enough stuff. We, um, we, we enjoy it. Uh, so this is your things. this is your friend's property back in here? Yeah. Back that way. Oh wow. Yeah, we're like in his backyard. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, I've done it three times now. How many times, Mom? Three. Yeah. We enjoy it. it gives us something to do for the weekend. Yeah. Right, guys i'm done for today i'm gonna head back to the warehouse and unload and show you guys the haul i got i got one piece that's really cool i haven't shown you yet i'm pretty excited to show you guys all right guys back to the warehouse uh, i'm going to show you everything i got Picked up four of these display cases for cars for a buck each. I think those will do pretty good on my website. I got a lot of NASCAR fans. Also got this Reds Joe Morgan t-shirt for a buck. I'm just gonna keep that for myself. I got some posters at one sale. Uh, there's 10 of them. They're all reproductions, but some pretty neat graphics and they were all two bucks a piece. 
like Beatles and Prince and uh, Rolling Stones, Pink Floyd. I got this little cash tray. Um, I've got one now for the warehouse, but it's kind of small. And this is a lot bigger, and it's got more compartments and everything. I only paid a buck for it, so I'm just going to keep that at the warehouse. This is the Kentucky Wildcats print I was showing in the, earlier. And so right here it says Holiday Inn Athens. So they were in Ohio and they all signed it. So it looks like Joe B. Hall, um, Sam Bowie. Um, some of them are hard to make out, but I think it's 70s. I'll have to search the names and figure out, you know, what roster that was. But that was only five bucks. I already showed you guys the Marge bobblehead. Also got these Superman figures for five. Got Seinfeld Monopoly for a dollar. And uh, it's used, but I saw some used ones selling for like 30 to 40 bucks on eBay. Got this TI-84 Plus with batteries. Turns on, works fine. Paid 15 for it, though. I had to pay up a little bit. This was that Pentax camera I showed you guys earlier. Got this Crybaby guitar pedal for five. Those usually sell pretty good. I think the last time I sold one, it was like 50, 60 bucks. This is a pretty cool piece. Okay, so I believe it is an original photo. And he said it was Johnny Vandermeer, Johnny Mize, and Bob Feller. I'm going to have to look up the photos to kind of match them up. Um, the photo is reversed. I just don't know enough about old photos to know if that's a common thing or why it's reversed. But there's the back of it. If you guys know anything about old photos, please comment below. Let me know if if you think it's a reproduction or if there's, you know, if you can lead me in the right direction to kind of research that thing. I picked up this clock for 10 bucks and it lights up on everything and it's got some advertising on it. I guess the guy worked there at a uh, Borg Werner for like 30 some years he said. Got some mugs and glassware. I got four of these like Cincinnati themed tumbler glasses. Then I got a Johnny Bench mug. And a Pete Rose mug. I paid 12 for all those. I had a bench mug similar to this maybe two months ago. A little bit different, but that one sold for 50 or 60 bucks, I think, on my website. I got this like 3D shadow box artwork. Thought it was kind of cool. I only paid two bucks for it. It says Tom Cryer at the bottom, so I'll have to look that up and do a little bit of this very old baseball glove. Paid seven bucks for it. It's signed Buddy Kerr, uh, just like a stamp, you know, his signature model. It's an old McGregor. Gosh, I can't imagine playing with this back in the day. This is when you had to catch it with two hands or you weren't catching it. Got some pins and buttons for four bucks. A lot of res ones in there other cool things in there. I got a Coca-Cola bottle opener. Uh, it says made in Germany. So I think it's at least vintage. I've seen some that are like Taiwan and they're pretty obvious knockoffs. And this little thing, there's a story with this one. So I got to a big sale and found a Wizard of Oz photo for three bucks. I bought it and I'm walking around and this guy says, Where'd you find that Wizard of Oz photo? And I showed him, and he's like, oh, man, my wife loves Wizard of Oz, and she was sitting there. So I'm just looking around, and I find this Kings Island lighter. This is an amusement park in Cincinnati. And he said he wanted 25 bucks for it. And I said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you the Wizard of Oz photo and five bucks for the lighter. And you could tell he didn't want to do it because he probably felt like he was getting the wrong of the deal on that one. 
but his wife was looking at him like, please, 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 I want this photo. I guess she's a huge Wizard of Oz fan. So he did it, and she was so happy. And, of course, I was happy. I don't know the value on this thing, but King's Island stuff is very collectible around here, and tobacco-related stuff is collectible. And this is kind of a double whammy, so it should be interesting to see how that does. I've got a PS2 Slim. It has the AV cords and one controller, and I paid five bucks, but no power. But I think I might have an extra power laying around somewhere. Got this old strainer for five bucks, original box and everything. And I think they're worth about 30 or 40. Got that Reds hat for myself for two bucks. Another red stein for a dollar. Got some old toys. Uh, I got this tractor for two bucks. This is like a uh, police toy thing. So it's got the steering wheel. On the other side, it's got the police thing. Didn't, didn't really see a name on it, but that was only two bucks. Got the fat PlayStation and four games for eight dollars. Got this Fender amplifier for fifteen. This is the item I wanted to tell you guys about. All right, so this is a fog machine. When I saw it, I didn't know what the heck it was. But it says Commander Trijet, so I searched that on eBay, and it looked like they were selling for 150 to 200 bucks. So she said she wanted three bucks. I said okay. Didn't even argue. Whenever you guys come across stuff, if you haven't seen it before, you don't know what it is, always look it up. Just bring a sense of curiosity with you to whatever sales you go to, and it can make you some serious money. Got this cabinet for five. It's marked the Whitaker Paper Company from Cincinnati. Any kind of old advertising stuff always does well. Got a couple Winnie the Pooh coin jars. I think they're ceramic. They were a buck each. I also got some golf clubs and bags. So I got three bags with clubs. Paid 45 bucks for everything. First one is a Nike bag. It has some Callaway irons. I think these are ladies' clubs. Uh, Nike fairway wood, Taylor made fairway wood, and an extra men's ping wedge. Nice Cobra bag. Odyssey white hot putter. This is a nice. That's a nice putter. Used probably goes for about 30, 40 bucks. A good ping putter. Just some miscellaneous clubs in there. And an Ohio State Buckeyes bag. This is a lacrosse stick I picked, picked up at another store I paid a buck for. I think all this stuff I'm just going to take it to plate again. Um, I'm sure they'll give me good money. And I don't have to mess with eBay. And I've only got 45 bucks in it. So probably for everything, 125 150 I think they'll probably give for all that. Got some records. Got Prince 1999. It's framed. I paid three for that. And then I got all these for 50 cents each. Got the Who, Mood Power. There's a bunch. Janis Joplin, another Who. A lot of times with those records, what I'll do is I'll just, um, you know, I'll put four or five good titles together on, on my website. And they'll usually bring 10, 15 bucks, depending on what they are. Got myself another Reds hat, <laughs> as if I need any more. Uh, Marty and Tom Brenneman bobblehead. Pete Rose bobblehead. And a Polaroid camera. I've never seen this one before. I looked it up. I don't think it's necessarily more valuable than the others. It's an Amigo, so it's kind of cool. It's got film in it, but it's probably empty would be my guess. I haven't pulled it out yet. 
I only had to give a few bucks for it. Huh. No, I think that's empty. But even sometimes when these things are empty, you can still get you can still get the camera to, you know, at least make a turn. You know, sometimes you gotta like hold these things down to get them going. Alright guys, that's it. That's everything I found today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.